In southern Utah now, Gunlock Falls is flowing once again, this time a little bit stronger than the last time. Our southern Utah correspondent Garrett James takes us there. The waterfalls are flowing and that means the crowd is growing as the Gunlock waterfalls are flowing in now back to back years. But when the crowd starts to grow, safety, well, it can be a concern. While seeing the waterfalls is extremely rare in back to back years like this, they do draw a very large crowd. The battalion chief with Dameron Valley Fire and Rescue told me that Gunlock Falls experienced over a quarter of a million people at the state park last year. While it can be exciting, it can also be dangerous. I'm excited because they're cool. I'm not excited for the 911 calls and the injuries. So last year, Gunlock State Park uh, had 250,000 visitors. Um, we experienced a high volume of calls. Uh, a lot of it was lack of safety, um, shoes with laces on them, um, not entering rushing water. Ryan said most of the injuries they saw were trauma related with trips, falls, broken ankles, or even broken legs. He said that he is afraid it is gonna be another busy year. I, I do, I, I looked at the numbers prior to this and uh, starts in April, April, and May seemed to be our heaviest months. If I remember, May had uh, 73,000 visitors. Um, so that, that's a lot of people. We're opening up a small city here in Gunlock. With no infrastructure near the state park, it can take responders up to 15 minutes to even reach the state park, let alone hike to where you are. Ryan provided some tips on how you can stay safe at the waterfalls. So first thing, hiking shoes, lace shoes, right? Um, and staying away from the moving water, especially when it gets warmer. Um, this lake's been known to grow moss on the rocks and that leads to a high volume of injuries, especially in April and May. And just looking in the water while I was out here, I already noticed some algae in the shallow water near the waterfalls. Now, Ryan told me it isn't about if someone will get hurt out here, it's when and how bad it is. But proper prevention could help prevent serious injury. Reporting from Gunlock State Park, Garrett James, ABC4 News.